Hello and welcome, my name is Brandy Joan. You can find me at Brandy Joan across all platforms and today I'm going to be showing you how to sew up my new McCall's pattern, number MA436. This is a wrap dress pattern with a little bit of a twist. It has a square neckline and a ruched little overlay here. It comes in a long version and a short version, but today we're going to be sewing up just the short version. So let's get to it. As always, before you begin, make sure to check the back of your packet for sizes and notions. So the first thing that we're going to do is pin the front yoke to the back yoke at the shoulder seams, making sure that we line up the two notches that are shown here, right sides together, then sew them in place using 5 8 seam allowance. Once you've sewn all of your front and back yoke pieces together, we're going to take two sets and sew those right sides together, making sure the raw edges are even and sew them along the neck edge. This is going to be the side that is on your neckline, not attached to the sleeve, and it's going to also be the side with the two little dots marking it at the ends. Now is a good time to mention that you should be sewing this with a serger or with a zigzag stitch because it is a knit and it needs that stretch. At this point now, you should have two sets of these yoke pieces and we're going to attach the elastic to them to make sure the sleeves don't fall off while we're wearing them. Use your elastic guide to measure out how much you need and then connect them from dot to dot at the ends of the yokes. We're going to want to sew this elastic in the seam allowance, not into the yoke itself. And remember to stretch the elastic to fit the piece while you're sewing. Once you have the elastic sewn into place, we're going to turn it right side out and baste stitch the other edge closed. Next, with right sides together, we're going to pin the yoke front to the front of the dress between the large dot and the armhole edge. Baste it in place and do the same thing with the other arm. Now we're going to sew up both of our ties by sewing them up lengthwise, right sides together. Then we're going to turn them right side out. I personally like to use a loop turner for this, so that's what I'm using. Once you have both of your ties sewn up, we're going to take one and we're going to pin it to the outside of the dress front, right at the smallest part of the waist. You want to make sure the length of the tie is going in towards the body of the dress, not out the way it will be once it's sewn up. Set your dress front aside and bring over the front overlay piece and on the outside, fold the top edge under 5 8 give it a good press and then top stitch that in place. Then on the outside, pin the remaining tie to the upper left front edge, making sure again that the length of the tie is facing in towards the dress. Now we're going to press under the left side and lower edge of the front overlay 5 8 of an inch, and this is going to form the casing for our elastic. So we're going to pin it on the outside and stitch 3 8 from the pressed edge between the large dots. Once you have that casing sewn up, we're going to cut a piece of quarter inch elastic to three inches and five eighths long, and then thread it through the casing, sewing it in at both ends. I like to pull it in so I can't see. I like to start by pulling it through so I can't see it at the top anymore, stitching that in place, then, th then threading the remainder through and stitching that in place when it's done. Once the gathers have been made, the next step is to pin the wrong side of the overlay to the right side of the front. And we're going to sew down the side seam that doesn't have the tie on it, and it's not going to go all the way down to the hem of the overlay just yet, so just be aware that if it seems like it's short, that's because it's supposed to be. Next, we're going to attach the two back pieces by sewing them up right sides together along the center seam.
Then bring your newly sewn up back piece and sew it to the front piece, right sides together along the side seams, making sure that all of the ties and the overlay aren't getting caught anywhere they're not supposed to be. Now that you've sewn the front to the back piece, the hem going all the way around the dress should be complete so you can fold that up 5 eighths of an inch and sew it in place. Now on the outside, pin the back edge of the yokes to the upper edge of the back between the small dot and the armhole just like you did the front yokes. Make sure to double check that the seams are in the right direction when you sew these because it can be easy to get them messed up and have the seams on the outside of the dress. Now pin the front facing and the back facing right sides together along the side seams and sew them up with a 5 8 seam allowance. Once you have your front and back facing sewn up, we're going to bring back over the dress and with right sides together and raw edges even, pin the facing to the dress at the upper front and upper back edges. Sew it in place using a 5 8 seam allowance, then stitch again 3 8 from that stitch line within the seam allowance because this will create a casing for the elastic at the neckline. Bring your elastic guides over for the front and back and cut a piece of quarter inch elastic to fit those guides. Then thread the elastic through the casings from armhole to armhole. Next, open out the facing, press the casing towards the facing and then top stitch along that seam. Now we're going to make a casing on the lower edge of the facing, so press under the lower edge 3 quarters of an inch and stitch 5 eighths from the pressed edge, leaving an opening to insert the elastic in the round. Use the pattern piece labeled elastic guide for casing to cut the quarter inch elastic to the size that you need and thread it through the casing. Once both ends of the elastic are threaded through the casing, sew them together, then close the hole. Turn the facing to the inside, give everything a good press, then baste the facing to the dress at both armholes. Next, bring your sleeves over and to ease the top of the sleeve between the notches, stitch along the seam line and a quarter inch inside the seam line using a long machine stitch. Then, stitch the underarm seam closed right sides together using a 5 8 seam allowance. Once your sleeve has been sewn together, fold the hem allowance up 5 8 of an inch and stitch a quarter inch away from the raw edge. Now all that's left to do is attach the sleeves to the dress, making sure that you match all of the notches and the side seams. Then trim the seam allowance below the notches, close to the stitch line, press, and you're done! Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this pattern, you might like my other fall design. And again, you can find me across all platforms at Brandy Joan. Bye!